I'm a fifth generation farmer. I'm harvesting my 40th crop this year. I came home to farm with my dad in the spring of 1983. We are farming some ground that my great-great-grandfather homesteaded here in 1874. We need to protect the land. It's a resource that'll go away if we don't protect it correctly. With the ever-growing population and the shrinking land base, the land we are producing crops on must be done in a sustainable way. My name is Art Schulteis, and I'm proud to be a sustainable U.S. wheat grower. So on our farm, we don't just raise commodities, we're raising food. That means we need to be a little more responsible as we're growing the crop because we know the consumer that's going to buy the crop at the end of the year. Everybody's always cared for the land, but now we have tools available that we never had 50 years ago. My dad direct seeded his first field in 1977. We have now progressed to the point where we direct seed right back into the previous year's residue. We have graphed our organic matter levels since the mid 80s and we can see that our organic matter levels are increasing and also our yields are increasing. When I came back home my dad's proven yield was 72 bushel to the acre and we're now right around 105 bushel to the acre. For a farm to be sustainable it has to also be profitable. And the new technology that's out there that allows us to more precisely apply fertilizers and chemicals reflects on our bottom line. If we can cut 10 to 12% in our cost, that allows us to have extra to invest in newer technology that will allow us to get even better in the future. We know we raise some of the best crops in the world and our buyers know that and know we can raise a consistent, good quality crop, we need to be able to pass that on to the next generation so we continue that relationship. I hope when my son Kyle looks at it 25 years from now that I gave him firm support to get started with some good ideas that he was able to expand upon and take further and grow our farm in a sustainable way so that he's still protecting the land but raising quality food.